Okay, so this video here, we're going to fit a HBD catch can to a late model Hilux. So if you've got a uh, 2.8 litre late model Hilux or the four tuner, this is the unit for you. Uh, customers opted to fit the catch can, so we just thought we'd do a quick installation video. And so first thing, you're going to open the box up, check all the contents. So catch can bracket, support bracket, and the stay. Obviously before we start anything, I want to make sure that we have all the contents as per this checklist. And one catch can. Must admit, the packaging is good. One catch can and dipstick in here. It's all billet, made in Australia. There we go, that's the storage capacity of the catch can. So, we're just gonna go through, count all this out, check on the list, and we'll get back into it. Okay, so we've just laid out all the kit, the contents in the kit, catch can, 90 degree bracket, Hilux specific bracket, four M6 button heads, six M6 bolts, six washers, six spring washers, four nuts. We've got a 19 mil uh, flange machine uh, fitting the ferrule that's gonna go in the catch can, a 16 mil, Two 16mm hose clamps, or spring loaded clamps, one 19mm uh, large worm drive. Now there is two different hoses as well, a 16 and a 19 so to say. So there is difference there as well, so make sure you've got them before you start the job. And let's jump over to the vehicle, we'll show you where it's going to mount up. Okay, so we're in the engine bay. Uh, I've just nut and bolted the brackets together, all movable, just to give you an indication where it's going to mount to. There's a thread insert or a nut insert in the bodywork here and then just a square cut hole that a nut and bolt's going to go into. Literally that's going to bolt there and another support bracket's going to come off the back here and bolt down to this ABS mounting hardware. Uh, now the positive crankcase ventilation hose is coming from the rocker cover in here and going down here. Uh, so what we're going to do is take off the engine cover. So a couple, uh, M12s, we'll pull that off out of the way and I'll show you. We're going, we will remove this turbo outlet hose, pretty easy to remove, it's just spring clipped as well. And we've got a clear view at the, uh, where it re-enters into the intake system. So we'll just pull that engine cover off. Okay, so I am, just for filming purposes, I'm gonna remove the intake hose, makes it much easier. So pretty much just gonna push out there and there, and that will release this locking clip for the uh, intercooler plumbing. And then you've got easy access You'll see here, thumb and forefinger. Undo that one. And this guy here as well. And dislodge that. Now these are rubber hose. It may be a bit stuck on there, so a bit of twisting and turning to get it off. May need to just break the seal on the hose. Just like so. And we can simply there we go, it's a bit tight that one, but it's coming off. So we'll see here, it's a larger fitting at that end to this end. It's not a huge difference, but there is a difference there. So literally in the end, 19mm is gonna go on that way. And the smaller hose is going to go down here. You can see down there, a little bit more of a push and I'll get the hose all the way down. Okay, so we've roughly got them sitting there. We'll move back over before we put the clamps on and we'll get the bracket mounted up. Okay, so I've just located the M6 threaded nut insert into the bodywork. I'm going to pull it all the way down. Uh, this vehicle doesn't have the second nut insert in there, so uh, I have actually added an extra nut and washer from my own supplies. Okay, so it's still nice and loose, that bracket. Then we have got the support bracket. That is going to sit 
like so. So we've got to take this other nut off the ABS pump housing. See, we're just going to locate the guy on there. Try and do it so you can see what I'm doing. Put the 12 mil back on. And I won't do it up tight yet. I'll locate the other bracket. Spring washer in our nut. And once we've got everything started and we're happy with it all, we can then go ahead and tighten everything up. So first thing I'm going to tighten up is the ABS start at the back there. Easy as that. Now we've got to do the two 10 mils. I'm going to do the one that's Got the nut sewed into the bodywork first. And now I'm going to do the second one, and I'll just come underneath with my 10mm spanner and hold that nut that I put on earlier. And now we can tighten our supporting bracket up. Okay, so all the hardware is all tight now, and now we can go ahead and mount. Uh, tighten up the three M6 nuts and bolts that hold the catch can in position. Obviously you'll see as well this bracket is slotted so you have got other accessories and you need to move it around to suit. Obviously that sort of bracket's got the slots there for so it's got a little bit of movement in it. Okay so the smaller fitting, so you've got two there, 19mm, 16mm. The 16mm as per fitting instructions which is the smaller hose that goes to He's going to go in the top and the larger hose that comes out of the crankcase, so the positive ventilation that is the oil deposited air from the crankcase, is on the top on the larger one. So we'll just get some spanners now and we'll do them up. Okay, so I'm just these fittings as well, they are an o-ring fit, so you just need to nip them. Obviously, I've got the aftermarket hose fittings and non-marking spanners. You can just use the normal spanners as well. Okay, so that's all ready to go on the car now. We're just going to get these little button head Allen keys and they start in there. So we'll get an Allen key to suit this and we'll go up to the vehicle and fit them off. Okay, so location of the catch can, the ins and outs and where you're plumbing it. General rule of thumb before you bolt it up. I'm just gonna slip it in here. It's gonna line the holes up. Obviously there's four holes in the top. If you can see that. I can't mount it there because it's hitting the air duct straight in there. Um, this is ideal because it's heading straight over to the crankcase and if I turn it a little bit more it's heading directly over and isn't going to work for us so obviously that's where it needs to be. Um, now I'm just going to put one bolt in there very loosely. When I fit them in the shop we just put a little drop, not too much, just a little bit of Loctite just under them so they can never rattle loose. and. Uh, end up having a bit of a mischief on the tracks and trails so that's just something we do here so you'll see that sitting there loosely and then same thing we're checking this 16 mil the smaller hose that goes down the front obviously that can come across here can trim the hose up and crossing over the dipstick or anything like that so we'll go ahead and we'll just um, put a little bit of Loctite on them okay so Allen keys are all done up tight got Loctite in there I've just given the bracket I've just given it a little bit of a tweak just to get it on the OCD sitting nice and square. Um, now I've put the hose down there. I will, however, slide the clamp down here so I can get on and do it up. And then I can sit it across here, cut the hose clamp, uh, the hose to suit, put a clamp on, away we go. Same thing's gonna happen here. This hose is almost the ideal size. So um, we'll go ahead and we'll do that, hey? Okay, so I've have got my hose clamp pliers, makes life a bit easier. 
Okay, so I've removed the heat shrink from the factory hose that obviously come from the rocker cover going down to the intake pipe. I've just made it so it fits over the larger hose. So I'm just gonna, before I put it on there, I'm gonna get our hose clamp. And obviously before you put the fitting on, you can have a look where you want to fit that way. Or obviously there it's gonna have a bit of mischief and it's not gonna sit too well. So I'm gonna make sure the hose clamp sits that way. Now you are going to be doing up a hose clamp on a plastic fitting, so just be very, what do you say, tread lightly. You don't need to do it up super tight, you just need to do it so it's sealing the surface. Now I'm just supporting the hose tail coming out of the rock cover. And what I'm gonna do is just give a little slight twist test. Look, it's firm, it's not, um, I'm gonna crush and snap the plastic or anything like that. Just gotta hold it on there and stop it from coming off. So and then obviously we can come around here. So we're just gonna trim the hose up a little bit with cutters. You can see there it's got a little bit. Just making sure we haven't got any kinks in the hose. That's the last thing you ever wanna do in a catch can is have the hose kinked because it's actually gonna cause more problems than good crankcase definitely needs to be able to vent freely and having hoses that are kinked aren't going to be your friend so obviously make sure everything is okay there so we'll just pull that fitting back off and I'll put the spring loaded hose clamp on once again put the clamps in a serviceable location it's going to come across there and we'll cut that one right there boom yeah okay, hose Pliers again, or oh, hose clamp pliers. Makes life a bit easier. Push those guys together. Slide it up, put it around there. I generally like to put the hose clamps down the side, that way if you're running your hand over here, air box, you're not gonna scratch your hands up. You can get pliers on here as well. From a serviceable point of view, you can get uh, over under the engine cover, you can get a flat blade screwdriver to that. Um, our hose clamp is on down here as well. We're not rubbing or touching on anything. If you wanted to, you could put a zip tie around here and there just to make sure that stays in there. But obviously, as you see, you can't really come out of there. And now when you're locking this intercooler hose again, just make sure these clips aren't dislodged, dislodged like that. Just make sure they're clipped in here and you'll hear it just clip straight on. There is an embossed here going in, so it's pretty straightforward as well. And just make sure the clips are on, and away we go. And then we've got the dipstick here. So we've got the line there. When to service it, you can come under here, spin it off like an oil filter, like so. But we're just gonna check that's nice and done up tight now. All right, so it's time to put the engine cover back on. Um, we've checked everything's tight and that is a catch can fitted to a late model Hilux. It's going to be very similar in your Fortuner as well. Uh, look, servicing, every time you check your engine oil, pop the bonnet, you want to be, you know, dipstick, check the level in it as well. And obviously every 10,000 Ks, just empty it regardless. You're servicing the vehicle, service and check everything. So if you're after anything else, guys, check out the links below, get in touch with us and see what we can do for your late model Hilux and Fortuner.